Hi everyone, welcome back to Brook Valley Life. Today we're going to be talking archery again. Uh, you may have seen on other channels where they've compared uh, types of bowstring, usually fast flight, 8125, or stuff like that. However, today I'm going to do something a little bit different. We are going to be comparing the 8125. Try and get that around the right. Yeah, no, no, that's right. 8125 against. Uh, try that way. 8125G. Now, I haven't seen anyone do this before, so let's see what happens. I'm going to make up two strings one out of the 8125G, one out of the 8125, and uh, see what it is and I'll be shooting them out of an Olympic recurve bow so everything's going to be the same the only thing that's going to be different is the string material themselves so I hope you enjoy and it's going to be a little bit informative for you enjoy so welcome back and hello for the first time viewers as I said we're going to be doing a string comparison um, 8125 and 8125G. The difference between the two, um, the 8125G has gore added to it and it's supposed to give it very very little stretch if any at all whereas there's a small amount of stretch in the 8125. Um, if you've researched anything about strings you know um, people used to use fast flight, that used to stretch a bit and I believe the Koreans still use Fast Flight. Um, 8125 was the next one, and of course it's moved on to 8125G, which is also used on compound bows because of the lack of stretch. So what I've done, I have made up two identical strings, same number of strands, 18, because that's what I usually shoot. Um, the serving's exactly the same, um, the bows are going to, or the bow it's going to go on, is a Hoyt Matrix. So it's an older bow, older riser. I've got Hoyt G3 limbs at thirty-eight pound. Tiller will be the same. I'll keep the brace height the same. I'll check it and I'll show you it all. Um, I've got some toe point stabilizers, which will be the same toe point um, sight. I think it's a Cartel. Um, mini stabilizer for the top limb and anything else it's okay I'm just trying to think I don't think so no nope, that's it oh the arrows I'll be shooting um, victory VAPs um, I can shoot both 600 and 700 spine depending on what the uh, poundage at the moment for the bow with the 8125 I'm shooting 700s and they seem to be shooting fine. So that's what we're gonna do. So next, I will take the bow. I've got it all set up with the 8125. I've got the 8125, uh, the 8125G string ready to go. I'll put a couple through and we can see if there's any difference between the two strings and if there is, what the difference is. So stay with us and let's go and shoot some arrows. Hi everyone, so here we go for our testing. So first of all we have the pink string, and I know Tim will like this one. Um, <clears throat> 8125, 18 strand. It has a brace height of... Nine inches, or just under 23 mil. It is a matrix, Hoyt matrix riser. Hoyt G3 limbs, cartel stabilizer there, toe point stabilizers and sides. And that's about it actually. So when we put on the new string, we just gotta make sure that it's got the same brace height. So let's crack on with our first shooting. And also I'll be shooting the Victory VAPs, these ones, in both 600 and 700 spine. 
so we can see the difference. So let's go ahead and shoot and I'll try and get the whole of the boat in the picture. Starting off with the 600 helicopter. Right, that is first three arrows, the 600 spine, bow was quiet, stable, felt really good, didn't hit the arm. Yeah, so we'll try the, the 700s now, see if they shoot as well, all of those went in the gold. So what I can say is that the bow is quite quiet. Um, those last couple were a bit higher than the other ones, I think, which surprises me because the knocks were slightly tighter than the uh, 600s. So let's go down there and have a look what we've shot. So first shots of the day. It's on a 60 centimetre target. You can see they're all in the gold. They've all shot much of a muchness. Um, not a bad group. Yeah, I can get my fingers all the way around. So 600s and 500, uh, 600s and 700s all shooting very much the same. So don't get the sun in my face. Uh, get my finger out the way. There we go. So with the 81. 25 string, not the G, the 8125. Both quiet, stable, good string. Enjoy shooting with it. So, what we'll do now is shoot a couple more through um, what we've got and then we'll change over. As I said, we're going to throw a few more through um, the 8125 string and see how it shoots. So good. Spin it around a bit so you can see. There we go. That's better.
happy with A125, always have been. So what we're going to do now is collect the arrows and put the other string on, see how that works. Come back to me. So changing the string on your bow, always use a bow string. I've seen some of the other guys who wrap it around their leg and push it on and you just need something to go wrong and say your bow to your limbs and if you buff to buy everything yourself, yeah. So what I'll do now, unstring my bow, put the new string on, let's go and shoot it. New string on, this is the 8125. Um, just a bit of a tip that when you do string your bow and you're just checking make sure it's on, always check from the back. If you check from the front and it's not on properly and it springs off, you could get a limb tip in the eye. Not very good. So what we'll do, do what we did before. Shoot the 600, 700, the only thing that's changed oh, is the string. Let's just check what the bracing height is. Now before it was about 23, it's about 23. Maybe half an L difference. Not enough to make a massive change. What we're looking for is noise, vibration. It's just how it feels. So let's crack on. Spin you around a bit more so you can see what I'm up to. Here we go. And again, starting with the 600s. First shot, no difference. Anything that's shooting a slightly low. <laughs> no difference. Bow is quiet to shoot. Um, I guess over time you may see some difference with zero stretch but what we'll do is we'll go down that end have a look where the arrows are and they are lower a lot lower compared to what I was shooting before. I don't know if that's anything but let's go and have a look. Wow that's a difference. Don't know why. <clears throat> Brace sight's the same Bows the same, arrows are the same. They're just shooting a good, this is 80, well, it's 20 yards. Um, about 19, 20 meters I'm shooting. And before we were up here and above, and these are a good two inches over 20 meters. That's surprising. Those two were bad shots, <clears throat> but the others are grouped okay-ish. What I'll do is I'll go and do some more, another end, see if it comes up at all, but I've touched nothing else apart from changing the string. So let's see what happens. Okay, I'll take another six arrows through of each and let's see how they go. I'll speed this up. And I'm in the exact same spot
So, looking at that, and as you can see on the uh, little insert of where I've hit, everything's gone low. That last one I was aiming at the top of the gold, and I believe it's gone low, either low 10 or even in the 9 low. So, just changing the string. A125, lot more forgiving on a bad shot. This one you do a bad shot and yeah, it goes, yeah, not where you want it to. For some reason, and I don't know why, the whole, all of the shots were low with the A125G. Um, A125, is it lighter? Does the ghoul make a difference? Obviously it does, but what I'll do is some more testing um, with this bow, see how it goes and uh, give you my conclusion at the end. So yeah, let's see what happens. I did forget to say that I did knock these in exactly the same spot. Um, <clears throat> and I did that by putting the bow into a bow vise, um, leveling up where the string was straight up and down whoops, and got the arrow so it was uh, straight and then I knocked them both exactly the same so knocking point isn't the reason why they were hitting low either so uh, hmm, still not sure I'm gonna go back onto the 8125 do some more shots and see what happens a couple of bad shots that don't deserve to go in the eight. That should have been a seven, something worse. The rest of them in the gold I can live with for the moment because I'm still uh, training. Um, but yeah, A125 works well. I um, think I might well work up a 20 strand for a bit more forgiveness. Um, I've seen some people go up to 24, 22, 24. I usually use 18, I've heard of 16, so uh, I think the thinner the string, the faster it goes and the faster the arrows fly, but I don't have a um, meter to judge speed, so at the moment I'll just keep shooting these and if uh, I like how they fly, I'm going to stick with that string, so hope you've enjoyed this, if you have, please hit the like, hit the subscribe and uh, possibly share it, don't forget the bell notification. So you know when the next um, video is coming out. So I'll catch you next time and I hope you've enjoyed. Bye bye.